I've been reflecting a lot on the O word and fragrances, and I don't really want to get into the reason why that term is problematic because there's a lot of creators who have already addressed this. And, you know, there's been multiple articles that explain why that term is so problematic. But I guess this message is for the brands and online creators that are still using the term. My question is, why would you hold on to such a problematic term? I mean, in terms of business, alienating part of your audience can't be really good for business. And two, there's a part of the population who are clearly telling you that it stirs up negative feelings. So why would your brand want to associate yourself with those negative feelings? I mean, technically speaking, it's such an easy thing to do to pivot and just use other terms that are highly appropriate, like ambers, floral ambers. And there's a lot of uh, vocabulary that is now available to better describe fragrances. So what's the deal? Is it pride? Is it because someone else is telling you what you should and shouldn't do that is really getting in the way? You know, I get it. People don't like being told what to do, but you also have to kind of choose your battles. And, you know, I don't feel like this one is one that is worthwhile. I mean, why would you use a term that so many people dislike? This kind of makes me think of that commercial where there's an easy button that's available to press. Well, this is a situation where there actually is one. Uh, there is a path to least resistance that is available. So what are you waiting for? You know, just take your pride, put it aside and take the jump. Trust me, it's an easy and painless thing to do and you'll thank yourself later.